It's wartime. Yes, it is. Lord Stark has been assaulted. Yes. In the streets of King's Landing. This cannot go unpunished. No. There must be justice. This for Lord Stark. Anyway. I hope there's justice for Lodester. Yeah, last episode was kind of nutty. I just watched it the little bit of the end again. I can't... Let me know. Anyone who watches this, in the comments. I'll probably do a poll later. If that guy didn't get involved, who would have won that fight? Jamie or Lord Stark? I feel in a way that Jamie would have because he's more cunning and more selfish. He would have done it the dirty way. I don't know if he would have done like a dirty tactic just because he's fighting a lord. He's not fighting a nobody. He's fighting a lord. I feel like it would have dishonored him even more. Surely there would be some repercussions for that. He seemed more, Jamie seemed more annoyed that his knight disrupted his moment. Because he wanted to take him alive. I want to know if they get out of Winterfell, if Arya and Sansa get out of Winterfell, King's Landing go back to Winterfell how he wanted to. I want to know what happens with Tyrion. Lady Stark figures out that it wasn't him. Yeah, that, that too. Because is. that's a little strange. I mean, he saved her in when they were on the road. And then he also offered a saddle for Bran, the 10 year old son, to be yeah. able to move around on himself. It, it, things just aren't adding up at all. So that, I just thought, they're the only ones that know that they did that. As far as I am aware, they almost killed his son. They think it's Tyrion who did it. They don't understand it's them who did it. But if they're the only ones who know who did it and they gave his dagger to the guy to kill him and he's coming to defend his brother, essentially he framed his own brother. But yes. Does he not care about his brother or does he care about his brother? That's a great question because now I'm thinking about it. And he went to challenge Lord Stark. I think Stark he cares about his brother that he's his brother. I don't think he cares enough that he's going to take the fall. I think that Sansa is starting to figure out that King's Landing isn't just a cup of tea and being queen in two seconds. It's finding out some rough heat. Like the jousting. She wasn't ready for that. We touched briefly on the Eerie, but oh boy. Yeah. We're about to. I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know. Kind of a situation. Oh yeah, they're there. Oh my God. Yep. I forgot about that. The Looney Tune. Yeah, he's in the dungeon there. Yes, you call being eight pillars and pillars up in the air a dungeon? No, I call that a freaking death trap. He has oh, two feet of what, blocking room and then... That's, it's supposed to, like, terrify you. And then we have Daenerys' brother going up the haywire. He's doing what he always does. He's threatening with not anything to back it up in a place where he probably shouldn't do that because if he does it at the wrong time to the wrong person in that situation, he's going to get, like... Poof. Hurt. Yeah. Or at least cast out, and God knows where they are out there. So now that Lord Stark is no longer handed the cane because he handed in his pen, how's he going to be treated at King's Landing now that just stabbed him in the freaking knee, injured your best mate? Did How is there? the king going to oh, treat yeah. his past Lord Stark, his hand? Is he going to be like, hey, we got to sort things out. Let me, I know I exploded on you about killing a child. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go at all. The easiest way to support us is through YouTube Join, and it is the cheapest method. If you want to get episodes sooner, we're currently three episodes ahead. That's on our Patreon, I believe. On our Patreon, yes. By the time this comes out, we'll probably be done with the whole season. So that's all up on Patreon as well. So you can catch up with us there. We also have all of our other content on all of our other channels. If you want to get a little more behind the scenes about what we do and all of the stuff there. We have a ton of content on everything, movies, TV shows, games. We do YouTube content, we do, and it's gonna continue to grow. So over time, and there's gonna be thousands of videos over there. The culmination of all of our channels all in one place. So it will be the best value eventually to get all of our content. Plus we don't have to worry about YouTube and how they censor things and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And we have different versions of each piece that we do. Each episode comes in a watch along format. And then we have an extended cut, which is the YouTube cut with more kept in. We don't cut as much, so you guys can see that as well. 
We get all our English full awkwardness. Yes. We leave in basically everything. You can see from start to finish, the uncut, the bloopers, all of the weird stuff that we get into <laughs> before the episode starts. And without further, further ado, justice. Well, justice. I don't know if the king's going to give justice, to be honest, but we will see. I know, because uh, his wife controls a whole lot of stuff. I pledge my sword yeah. to the north. Now, I don't know really who I like, like in this situation yet. They said, okay, there's seven kingdoms. We've only seen the north, right? And the Erie. Is the Erie another kingdom? Or is it like in the north? Let us know that. The game! Let the games go. What are you going to do, man? What? Pardon your grace. I would rise, but... Do you know what your wife has done? She did nothing I did not command. Who'd have thought she had it in her? By what right dare you lay hands on my blood? I am the king's hand. You were the king's the hand. Peace and you shall now be held accountable. Oh, oh, well, both of you shut your mouths. Catelyn will release Tyrion, and you'll make your peace with Jaime. You butchered my men. Lord Stark was returning drunk from a brothel when his men attacked Jaime. Quiet, woman. Jaime has fled the city. Give me leave to bring him back to justice. I took you for a king. Hold your tongue. He's attacked one of my brothers and abducted the other. I should wear the armor and you the gown. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. Oh, look at the me- He really gave her- wear this like a badge of honor. Where is it silence or I'll honor you again? And what is he gonna do? See what she does to me, my loving wife. Drives you to drink. I should not have hit her. That was not kingly. If we don't act, there will be a war. So tell your wife to return that little shit of an imp to King's Landing. She's had her fun, now put an end to it. You hear me? Send a raven and put an end to it. And what about Jamie Lannister? Slaughtered what his about men. Jamie? I'm half a kingdom in debt to his bloody father. Oh. I don't know what happened between That's you and those yellow-haired shits. I don't want to know. This is what matters. I can't rule the kingdoms if the Starks and the Lannisters are at each other's throats. Enough. Tell him. As you command, Your Grace. Tell him. With your leave, I will return to Winterfell and set matters straight. Piss on that. Send a raven. I want you to stay. I'm the king. I get what I want. When is he going to tell them that Pass have killed the blade? I love my brothers. Sad thing for a man but to admit, but it's true. Your son's position. You were the brother I chose. Yeah, he needs to tell him, like... One of the people were involved the in killing things clears my head. You'll have to sit on the throne while I'm away. You'll hate it more than I do. Targaryen girl. Seven hells. The girl will die and I'll hear no more of it. Put on the badge. And if you ever take it off again, I'll pin the damn thing on Jamie Lannister. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to like give up that information yet. I don't know why he wouldn't though. That was the perfect time though. Yeah. Be like, someone attempted to murder my son. That's why. And that's why we took missing. Tyrion. It is his dagger that the assassin used. Man. And if he said that, yeah. can you imagine Cersei's face? I think she's trying to eat up the egg. To revive them or something? Whoa! She doesn't hurt her. Look! Well, her brother. Oh, you you're right. Her brother's hurt Greg, and maybe she has some of that blood too. The crow's back. I think. It seems so she can't be hurt by fire. Maybe you're right. Is this the same dream? Yeah, that bro. He's having the same dream again. He didn't wake up this time, though. Oh. What a wonderful smile. Not too fast. When are you going to tell him? You need to make the Lannisters pay for Jory and the others. You're talking about war. You're talking about justice. Only the Lord of Winterfell can call in the Bannermen and raise an army. Lannister put his spear through your father's leg. The Kingslayer rides for Castle Rock, where no one can touch you. You want me to march in Castle Rock? You're not a boy anymore. They attach your father. They've already started the war. It's your oh. duty to represent your house when your father can't. And it's not your duty, because it's not your house. I mean, he's just trying to help give you some insight. But... I don't know. Brand was so happy. Where's Brand? Yeah, that's a great question, actually. Don't know. 
It's not my house. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but you serve my house. Yeah. You don't decide, but you serve. Oh, boy. He's just enjoying his freedom. What the is this person doing? You don't know, but she looks like she's bananas. All alone in the deep, dark woods. Not alone. My brother is with me. I don't see him. It's a maiden under your cloak. Oh, well, that's a pretty pin. Silver. Take the pin and the horse. Get down. Be quick about it. I can't. The saddle, the straps. What's wrong with you? You some kind of cripple? I'm Brandon Stark of Winterfell. If you don't let me be, I'll have you all killed. Ah, cut his little off and stuff it in his mouth. The boy's worth nothing dead. Benjamin Stark's own blood. Think what Mance would give us. Ooh. Piss. Ow. A Mance Raider. He just freaking sliced him. Oh, he doesn't feel it either. We're going so. as far south as south goes. This would be a great time like for his brother and that person dawn. to come along. Drop the knife. Let oh. him go and I'll let you live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh damn oh bloody massacre oh that's right you better shut up drop the blade do it that's right oh boy the other guy Hell yeah! Boom! Yes, it doesn't hurt. Tough little lad. In the Iron Islands, you're not a man until you've killed your first enemy. Well done. Have you lost your mind? What have you missed? He would have killed you and cut Bran's throat. You don't have the right to... To what? To save your brother's life? It was the only thing to do, so I did it. Bell point. What about her? Give me my life, my lord, and I'm yours. I don't know. We'll keep her alive. Uh... Oh! Where guy up? There we go. Dude rolls around in his sleep. <laughs> like he's in a quadruple king size bed. How would you like to be rich? Dwarf man still making noise. Oh my god. My family is rich. We have gold, lots of gold. I'm prepared to give you lots of gold. And... I don't go. have it on me. I don't have it here. Now go! Oh, fuck off. It's okay, different approach. He doesn't understand thing like that. Yeah. Ooh, training session. You ready? I don't Get want your today. They killed Jory. My father is hurt. I don't care about stupid wooden swords. You are trouble. Good. Trouble is the perfect time for train. When you are dancing in the meadow with your dolls and kittens. This is not when fighting happens. I don't like dolls and... You're not Ooh. here. You're with your trouble. If you're with your trouble when fighting happens, oh. more trouble for you. See. Just yeah. so. You gotta be in if the game. You're not game. focused. You're not... Okay. Yes. Be quick as a snake. <laughs> True as quiet as a shadow when you are somewhere else you are fearing for your father that is right do you pray to the gods the old and the new there is only one god and his name is death oh and there is only one thing we say to death not today not today death. there we go the young the different time what is she eating what are we doing oh. she's gonna toss her cookies that wasn't mine. She's doing well. Oh, Lord. So she's being challenged to eat a part of a horse. She's being very focused with yeah. Cal and him. And he's giving her, like, I saw that knot he gave her. What's she saying? The prince is riding. I have heard the thunder of his hooves. Swift as the wind he rides, his enemies will cower before him. And their wives will weep tears of blood. She's going to have a boy. He won't be a real Targaryen. He won't be a true dragon. Oh, you are shitting yourself. Mm. Uh oh, uh oh. She even threw it up. I would. <laughs> you look so proud of her. The stallion who mounts the world. The stallion is the Carl of Carls. He shall unite the people into a single Kalasar. All the people of the world will be his herd. He's like, oh my god. I have to compete with him? Yes. They love her. They love her. They don't love you. No, they don't. You're nothing. 
Oh, look at that. It feels like they're worshipping her. For them, they ha she has the person that's going to lead them. A Truly is a queen to Domination inside of her. He doesn't like that. Those aren't yours. What is he going to do? Oh, no, no. Don't let them see you carrying a sword and by his Dothrak. You know the law. It's not my law. They don't belong to you. Whatever is hers is also mine. Once, perhaps. If I sell one egg, I'll have enough to buy a ship. Two eggs, a ship, and an army. And you have all three. I need a large army. I'm the last hope of a dynasty, Mormon. The greatest dynasty this world has ever seen on my shoulders since I was five years old. And no one has ever given me what they gave to her in that tent. Never. Not a piece of it. How can I carry what I need to carry without it? Who can rule without wealth or fear or love? You stand there all nobility and honor. I think I see you looking at my little sister. Don't think I know what you want. I don't care. You can have her. She can be queen of the suffrages and dine in the finest bloody horse parts, and you can dine in whichever parts of her you like. But let me go. Ooh. You can go. You can't have the eggs. Oh, there you we go. An oath to me. Does loyalty mean nothing to you? It means everything to me. And yet here you stand. And yet here I stand. Mord again. Mord. This time you've ever different. About the gold. Now go. Listen to me. Listen to me. Possession is an abstract concept. When they captured me, they took my purse. But the gold is still mine. Where? Where? I don't know where, but they free me. You want free? Go be free. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard the phrase? What the heck? Go be free. Of course you have. You're a smart man. You know who the Lannisters are. I am a Lannisterian, son of Tywin. Of course, you have also heard the phrase, Lannister always pays his debts. If you deliver a message from me, Boy. Lady Aaron, I will be in your debt. I will owe you gold. If you deliver the message and I live, which I very much intend to do. Then his wittiness. Yeah. He knows how your to get message. around it. Please don't hurt me. Tell her I wish to confess my crime. You wish to confess your crime? Yes, my lady. I do, my lady. Sky cells always break. Meet your gods as an honest man. Where do I begin, my lords and ladies? I'm a vile man. I confess it. My crimes and sins are beyond counting. I have lied and cheated, gambled and whored. That's not... I'm not particularly good at violence, but I'm good at convincing others to do violence for me. I want specifics, I suppose. When I was seven, I saw a servant girl bathing in the river. I stole her robe. And she was forced to return to the castle, naked and in tears. I closed my eyes. I could still see her tits bouncing. When I was ten, I stuffed my uncle's boots with goat shit. When confronted with my crime, I blamed a squire. Poor boy was flogged, and I escaped justice when I was twelve. I milked my eel into a pot of turtle stew. I flogged the one-eyed snake. I skinned my sausage. I made the bald man cry into the turtle stew, which I do believe my sister ate. At least I hope she did. I once brought a jackass and a honeycomb into He's a brothel. You get everyone laughing. Silence! What happened next? What do you think you're doing? Oh, my God. Confessing my crime. Lord Tyrion, you were accused of hiring a man to slay my son, Bran, in his bed, and of conspiring to murder my sister's husband, Lord John Arryn, the Hand of the King. Oh, I'm very sorry. I don't know anything about all of that. You've had your little joke. I trust you enjoyed it. Maud, take him back to the dungeon. This time, find a smaller cell with a steeper floor. Is this how justice is done in the veil? You accuse me of crimes. I deny them. So you throw me into a cell to freeze and starve. Where is the king? justice. I am accused and demand a trial. If you're tried and found guilty, then by the king's own laws you will pay with your life. I understand the law. We have no execution in the Eerie. Life is more elegant here. Eerie. Kept saying it Open wrong. the moon door. Oh boy. Should they just push you out of there? to trial, my lord Lannister. Very well. My son will listen to whatever you have to say, and you will hear his judgment. Oh boy. Then you will leave by one door or the other. No need to bother Lord Rob. I demand a trial by combat. <laughs> you have that right. My lady, I beg I think he honor. knows he does. He's let a very smart man. The honor should be mine. For the love I bore your lord husband, let me avenge his death. I'll fight for you, my lady. My honor, love my lady. Me, your lady. Your lady. Your honor. Let the man fly! Savardis. Did you want to avenge my husband? With all my heart, my lady. But the imp is half my size. Shameful to slaughter such a man and call it justice. Agreed. You demanded a trial by combat. Now I demand a champion. I have that right, same as you. 
I will gladly fight Yim's champion. I wouldn't be too glad, sir. I name my brother, Jamie Lannister. The King's Slayer is hundreds of miles from here. Send a raven for him. I'm happy to wait. The trial will be today. Do I have a volunteer? Oh, come on. I don't know how he's gonna get out of this. He did do pretty good fighting those people anyway. on the road. There's gotta be someone. I don't think anyone there is I think gonna... we can assume that no one is willing I'll to... I'll stand for the dwarf. Oh! Oh, that guy. He's like, you owe me. You see that face? He's like, mm -hmm. You're gonna pay me a lot. <laughs> yes. Is this the hunt he's on? Yeah, it was your grace. It was right there in the open, vicious as you like, all but sending you a bloody invitation. Nothing like today. Sounds exhilarating. Exhilarating, yes. Not as exhilarating as those balls and masquerades you like to throw. <laughs> You ever for Riverlands, girl? Once, I think. I think you'd remember. Back in our day, you weren't a real man until you'd one girl from each of the seven kingdoms and the Riverlands. We used to call it making the eight. Those were some lucky girls. You ever make the eight, <laughs> Barristan? Lucky I girls. So, <laughs> Those were the days. Which days, exactly? The ones where half of Westeros fought the other half and millions died? When the mad king slaughtered women and babies because the voices in his head told him they deserved it? When dragons burned whole cities to the ground? <clears throat> Easy, boy. You might be my brother, but you're speaking to the king. I suppose it was all rather heroic. If you were drunk enough and had some poor Riverlands whore to shove your prick inside and make the eight. Hey. Wine, the yep. <laughs> uh, I got your wine. We burned. Most everything in the Riverlands, our fields, our granary, our homes. They took our women. When they was done, they butchered them as if they was animals. They covered our children, itched and lit them on fire. Oh Brigands, most likely. They weren't thieves. They didn't steal nothing. They even left something behind, Your Grace. It's the king's hand you're addressing, not the king. Fish. I Fish. Yeah. The sigil of House Tully. Isn't that your wife's house? Tully, my lord hand. The one who was leading them, taller by a foot than any man I've ever met, saw him cut the blacksmith in two, saw him take the head off a horse with a single swing of his sword. That sounds like someone we know, the mountain. You're describing Sir Gregor Clegane. Why I had a flashback. Sir Gregor turn brigand? The man is an anointed knight. I've heard him called Tywin Lannister's mad dog. I'm sure you have as well. Can you think of any the Lannisters might possibly have for being angry with your wife. If the Lannisters mm. were to order attacks on well. villages under their king's protection, it, it would be... That would be almost as brazen as attacking the hand of the king in the streets of the capital. So they're retaliating against them? But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king, Robert. Lord Beric Dondarrion, you shall have the command. Assemble 100 men <clears throat> to ride to Sir Gregor's keep. As you command. Oh, boy. In the name of Robert of the House Baratheon, the first of his name, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, I charge you to bring the King's justice to the false knight Gregor Clegane and all those who shared in his crimes. I denounce him and attaint him. I strip him of all ranks and titles, of all lands and holdings, and sentence him to death. My Lord, this... This is a drastic action. It would be better to Justice. wait for King Robert's return. Grand Maester Pycelle. Oh, my lord. Send a raven to Casterly Rock. Inform Tywin Lannister that he has been summoned to court to answer for the crimes of his bannermen. He will arrive within the fortnight or be branded an enemy of the crown and a traitor to the realm. So are you writing this down? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. But is it wise to yank the lion's tail? Tywin Lannister is the richest man in all the Seven Kingdoms. Gold wins wars, not soldiers. And how come Robert is king, and not Tywin Lannister? Oh boy. That is some provocation. Shouldn't that be equals? If someone doesn't get a shield, the other one doesn't get a shield? Or is it just... I, I think he denied the shield. I know, but I don't think it's fair. 
he didn't want it. Because he probably could fight better without it. Stand and fight, coward! Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, he's got... He's moving a little bit. Yes. Enough, Savardis. Finish him. Yeah. I don't know. No. There it is. I don't think he can get up anymore. Oh God, he's open. He's waiting for her to be like, okay. See. And he's not gonna say it. She's not gonna say it. Damn. Yep. You owe him. Is it over? Kid, did you not just see him die? You don't fight with honor. No. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he waited for him to get exhausted so he could like move in. Can I make the little man fly now? No, this little man, this little man is going home. I believe you have something of mine. Oh, he kept his word. Pays his debts. Oh. Um, I... Yes. That's how he could use his wordiness yeah. to get out. Apparently. He did. He was honest. He could have just paid the other guy and left. You wear your hair like a real southern lady now. Why shouldn't I ruin the south? It's important to remember where you come from. I'm not sure your mother would like these new styles. My mother isn't from the north. Where are you from anyway? The north or the south? I come from a very small oh, village. Wait. In a... I just realized I don't care. Sansa. Accept her. Gosh. Now you are being rude. Yep. My lord. My prince. My lady. I fear I have behaved monstrously the past few weeks with your permission. Love games. Yeah, I don't. She's beautiful. I think it may have been because like his mother, mother said he to do something nice. You'll be queen someday. It's only fitting you should look the part. But now, like, all this situation with had blood between their families mm -hmm. and stuff. Will you forgive me? This just seems like another game. There's nothing yeah. to forgive. But... You are my lady. One day we'll be married in the throne room. Lords and ladies from all over the Seven Kingdoms will come. From the last hearth in the north to the salt shore in the south. And you will be queen over all of them. I'll never disrespect you again. I'll never be cruel to you again. Do you understand me? You are my lady now. From this day until my last day. Interesting. Did they just get married? Yeah. It's just... What are you doing? Going to King's Landing. In a turnip cart. I'll find a ship heading south in White Harbor. And you can afford that. Some of my friends are more generous than others. A thousand girls like you in King's Landing. So I'll have lots of company. Yes, she'll be very popular until some fat lord comes to visit with a big belly and a little prick and he can't get it up so he knocks all your teeth out. Uh -huh. Oh, what will happen to me if I stay here? Will I become Lady Greyjoy, mistress of the Iron Island? Don't be a fool. I hear Jamie Lannister attack Lord Stark in the streets of King's Landing. Every man for a hundred miles will be marching off to war soon and most of them will never come back. There's nothing left for me here. Let's go, Stefan. Let me see it one more time. See what? <laughs> Going to miss you. I know. I know, she says. I'm sending you both back to Winterfell. What? Listen. What about Joffrey? Are you dying because of your leg? Is that why you're sending us home? What? No. Please, Father, please don't. You can't. I've got my lessons with Sirio. I'm finally getting good. This isn't a punishment. I want you back in Winterfell for your own safety. Can we take Sirio back with us? Who cares about your stupid dancing teacher? I can't go. Oh, I'm supposed to gosh. marry Prince Joffrey. I love him. And I'm meant to be his queen and have his babies. Seven hells. When you're old enough, <laughs> I'll make you a match with someone who's worthy of you. Someone who's brave, knows. gentle and strong. I don't want someone brave and gentle and strong. I want him. He'll be the greatest king that ever oh, was, a Lord. golden lion, and I'll give him sons with beautiful blonde hair. 
The lion's not a sigil, idiot. He's a stag like his father. He is not Baratheon. Yeah, well, that's his house. Lord Oris Baratheon, black of hair. Robert Baratheon, black of hair. They all had black hair. Joffrey Baratheon, golden haired. Yeah, but is that because she's golden haired? And it's just like a more dominant. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're back. Oh, is he like doubting that Joffrey is this his son? Oh. Oh. This is not the time. Where is he? This is not good. He's making a fool out of himself. Where is he? I'm here for the feast. The whore's feast. <gasps> Come. Get your hands off me. No one touches the dragon. Khal Rahmai. I'm here for the feast. The Vakti Vekka Haman. Khal Drogo says there is a place for you back there. That is no place for a king. You are no king. Oh. Keep away from me. Viserys, please. There she is. Put the sword down. They'll kill us all. They can't kill us. They can't shed blood in their sacred city. But I can. Oh, boy. This is not good. I want Not good for him. You're finally going to realize he has no power. He bought you. But he never paid for you. Tell him I want what was bargained for, or I'm taking you back. You keep the baby. I'll cut it out and leave it for him. Oh, He's making me sweat. He says yes. You shall have a golden crown that men shall tremble to behold. What? But that was all I wanted. What, what was promised? Oh, I don't know. Koromai. Oh! You cannot touch me! I am the dragon! I am a dragon! I won my crown! Ah! Look away, Khaleesi. No. Oh my gosh. Jesus. They're just melting gold like that? Danny, tell them. Make them! Make, Make them what? Them. <laughs> no, you can't. They please! She's stone cold. A crown for king. Oh, right. Khaleesi. He was no dragon. Fire cannot kill a dragon. Wow. I was saying he was not had any power in that situation, and it took him where he ended up if he didn't keep pushing and pushing it yeah he, he i was think he would have lived a bit long so oh, dumb so dumb that character like could not see beyond his own imagination yes of whatever the situation i am this so everyone is going to treat me this way it's just not how this world works no one cares which that's just hard lesson to learn the way he did he just respected six people yeah he threatened to kill basically the baby that they're idolizing yep. in their home area, their home city, breaking their laws in front of the king. Yes. Dude, you're not, oh my you're God. not where your voice means anything. Yeah. Your threat don't mean anything. You have nothing and no one to back that up. Just he ended up dying because he couldn't just learn that simple lesson. On the plus side, he's no longer a problem for Daenerys. I don't think he ever was. I mean, I think on a level beyond just like harassing her yeah. on a general basis, like he was never going to hurt her beyond like, I think that last like few seconds. Like if they said, if they told him like, no, we're not doing that. I think he possibly could have killed her there. But even then, I don't know if he would. I think he th thought that his threats were powerful and nothing would just get what he wanted. Yeah, because he is like from this noble family, but it doesn't mean anything here. Wow. Now, when they were talking about, I don't remember these exact names, but House of Holy, and they had brought up the mountain and cutting one man cutting head off an animal that brought me back to when Mount of the Jousting he lost and sliced the head off of his horse. Yeah, I don't know if he just like cuts 
heads off animals to like have some leisure time or what? What he does on the weekends? Or I think Comes on the weekend. I think like they said they left Bish, and that's a sigil of Lord Stark's wife's house that she used to be in before she was married. And so they're retaliating against her taking Tyrion, essentially. Man, the hand made some serious... Yeah, he made some judgments. Yes, he, he did. Was he didn't care about no one else's opinions. He was like, this happened. Unknighted the the mountain. All of his titles, all of his belongings, all of his ownings gone. Stripped him. So they said the Lannister, what's his name? Talking about Tywin? Tywin. Is that Jamie Lannister's father? We haven't seen him. They've been like hyping him up, which is pretty cool. He's rich. He's the richest man. But like, how did he get that well? You know, you guys probably know. We don't know. We'll figure it out. Yes. And he summoned him to court for answer for the crimes of the mountain, which is under his control. It's heating up. Let's talk about how Tyrion got out of that whole situation. Yeah. He bribed Mord in Mord's way. He's just good at Daenerys' brother needs to go to school with Tyrion to learn some of his word usage. And then when he was on trial, he started confessing all of his crimes. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew he was going to do something because just the way he said, yeah. I'm going to confess the crimes. I've done many of these things, adultery and cheated and all this stuff in his smirk. And then he just said the river in the bathrobe and he got him going. Yeah, I think he was trying to just get to the point of the trial by combat and then summon his brother to come to fight for him, which I think he would have definitely. <laughs> Jamie Lannister's not going to back down from anything. The person who did the trial by combat. I was thinking while I was watching it, he kind of like resembles the dancing master, the Arya's trainer. Oh, yeah. The water and dance. The way saying? he goes about his fighting. He was offered a shield and denied it. Didn't have the heavy armor. So he used his enemy's strength against him with the fighting. He knew the guy was going to come at him hard in the beginning, which he did. He let him just attack and attack until he was so exhausted that he could move in to wound Make him. And attack. once he's wounded, waiting for another opportunity to attack again, which got Tyrion out of it. I think you actually may be right when he held up the one guy's arm with the sword and his sword and looked at both ladies. I think he was waiting for them to be like, okay, you're free to go. Yeah, stop, save him, whatever, mercy, whatever. But like, they just let the guy die. Yeah. I mean, he was already kind of wounded. I think he would have survived. Uh, yeah. Maybe not, maybe he wouldn't have survived think they just let him die there which is kind of maybe he was just showboating and he's i got him now and i'm gonna kill him and him fall i think lord star thought to revisit that book quite deeply it showed he went back to revisit it yeah i something hit me after and i was i said something and then i was i think i realized something I'm not gonna say it i'm gonna let the show take me there i'm not going to something else popped in my head too from previous episodes yeah. when lord stark went into the city and met with the king's bastard son who was yeah. making those helmets and uh, lord stark had asked the one guy don't remember his name i apologize what were the last words of the king's hand before he passed he said the seed is strong he said that three times yeah and now he's reading the book it's got my brain. What? I don't know. Okay. That's all You're just I'm at. I'm bringing just trying it all to, together. Yes. I'm trying to piece it together. I don't know what that means. I don't. I mean, he was poisoned. I think he was poisoned, Lord Stark had said, but I don't know if he was delusional. I think a lot of things are coming together now and a lot of... I have a theory, but I'm not going to say it until it's either confirmed or denied, and then I'll say if I was correct or not. I'm guessing we're probably going to get an answer within the next episode or two, so... We'll get to that. Now that Tyrion is going back to King's, King's Landing, Landing, is Lady Cat going to be like, okay, I need to still figure it out. Who threw my son off the bridge? I don't know if she's changed her mind about that. I think she just, she still deserves to know either way. I don't know. I don't think it was Tyrion. I think Tyrion defended himself when he was innocent. Don't know who framed him, but like I said in the intro, the only two people who know what actually happened was Cersei and Jaime. 
My question is, why would they frame their own brother unless they don't like their brother? Why would Jaime Lannister come to the defense of his brother to Lord Stark and injure him if he loves his brother? If he framed his brother, why would he do that in the first place? So there is something even deeper than that going on, which mm. is interesting because there's something like undercutting all of this. It's almost like under it all, even the fam like the Lannisters are cutting each other up under the surface because they're trying to frame their brother for the crime. Or maybe the whole reason they did that in the first place is to start a war between the Starks and the Lannisters. Maybe that is their plan. They're using the situation that happened with Bran to put it on Tyrion to start a war with the Starks and Lannisters. But what about the king? The king has loyalty to Stark. Yes. The king owes money to the Lannisters. So he's caught in the middle, so he can't really do anything. I don't understand what conflict between them, unless they just hate each other that much, that the Lannisters are willing to just go to war with the Starks. We'll see. Because the Stark children are like the little kids, but what's that guy who's in Winterfell still, the Stark? There's Bran, who's mm -hmm. still in Winterfell, and... I don't know the other one. We'll learn his name. Yes. He, in Winterfell, is, we're going to war. The girl that was leaving on the cart said, soon all of the oh, yeah. men in the north will be marching off to war, so there's nothing for me here. And then Bran got attacked by some randoms. I don't even know what they, they are. They never said what they are. The term that came to my head just now was wildlings. Because I think I remember saying that wildlings were fleeing south in the first episode. So maybe there were like wildlings that were like running south. Actually, okay, I'm remembering. He said when he was talking to the other wildlings before they got attacked, he said, there's no white walkers in Dorne. Remember that. So they're fleeing south. So I would assume. Maybe that's what they wanted. Two and two together. His horse. But there's only one horse, though. One horse is better than no horse. Use the horse to scout around to see if there's anybody that could spot them going south. Or they could use the horse to carry things. So they don't have to carry all the stuff they're carrying. They could take turns riding the horse so each person can walk further. There's all sorts of things that they could use the horse for. But let us know if we forgot anything. Um, or missed. Or missed. Obviously no spoilers. Mm -hmm. And if you want to watch episodes early, it's going to be on our Patreon. We have a lot of plans for Patreon. New ideas that I just came up with. I'll be coming out with more later. You can join the Patreon for free. If you just want to see some update posts and stuff I have coming out for it, you haven't used Patreon before, it's a free option to see a little behind the scenes. Please consider liking the video and subscribing after you leave. And thank, thank you. Thank you very much for watching Immersive Reactions. Justice. Justice. I don't have a sword. What do I do? Yes. Be a weapon. All right. Have a good one. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps us get recognition on our videos and we'll react to more in the future. Thank you.